Hi, my name is Jeff Thomas, founder of the Jeff Thomas Foundation, which is now working with leukemia and lymphoma research. Well, cycling, um, ever since I was diagnosed with uh, former leukemia in 2003, and when I started recovering, um, went into remission. Cycling was really an event where I could raise awareness and raise money and bring people into to what we were doing uh, and get people aware of our targets and aims. Just going out doing six mile rides at first and coming home absolutely shattered and then you know eventually going on to doing ridiculous things like the Tour de France over three weeks. My aims when we set up the foundation was um, to accelerate clinical trials to give more opportunities to people who are still uh, dying from this uh, horrible disease. I think the, the King of the Pennines is a fantastic opportunity to get involved with the work LLR are doing, but also Evans are putting on this fantastic event. We've been around the course and it's going to be a massive challenge. We've been around the area and had a look at the circuit and look at the challenges ahead. It's going to be, I'm, I'm sure, going to be a date in the diary that's a lot of cyclists are going to enjoy for many years to come. Uh, something like this is, is, is one of them events where it's going to take heavy bit of effort to get round. And I never even think about time, so I just think about survival. And I think this is one of them events. It's, uh, I think it'll be a great feeling when you finish in, uh, get over that finishing line. So after the brutal, some of the brutal climbs, a great payback. Um, just be a bit wary because there are uh, walls on either side, you know, you just got to take it a little bit easier, I would imagine, uh, uh, just be always safety in mind, but uh, I'm sure the, the experienced cyclists have really enjoyed uh, On a course like this, it's you don't get many flat stages, and I think, you, you not that you're punished, but you sort of earn the right to enjoy a free wheel down some of these big climbs, so I think that's acceleration of uh, getting to the top and then going yeah <laughs> I think that's what I'll be looking forward to most but there are a couple of switchbacks on this course which people will enjoy and rest their legs a little bit but not much because they are tough and it's going to be a tough challenge but that's what it's all about and that's what I'm uh, looking forward to people taking on try and be prepared for anything really um, September it could be a warm it could feel like you just sat off on a t-shirt but I think Bring sleeves at least and uh, a coat because I think if you get to the top here it's 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 pretty cold. It's going to be a massive challenge and uh, for serious cyclists it will be and for people who are, are, are thinking about getting on a bike and really going around an area where I've never seen before but it's beautiful and I think just take your time and get round and enjoy it. Patting yourselves on the back and I think you'll really be rewarded by doing something fantastic.